Okay, air signs, this is going to be your Monday motivational message because fire signs took up about 50 minutes, so I figure it's going to be the same for each since I'm doing individual signs, okay? So I'm going to start with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Hold on, give me a second, I'm going to light us up. Incent, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. All right, so we're going to start off with Aquarius, air signs. And this is Monday Motivational Messages. These are for the month of May. Because um, I'm only going to do these once a month. When I was doing them once a week, it was like too energetically taxing. As well as only if a few amount of people really care about their like spiritual ascension. Mostly everybody loves drama and tea. So that's why I stopped doing these. But I really love doing them. And I do feel like we need at least something motivational on this channel. Because that's what it started off as. Okay. So we're going to start off with Aquarius. So Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for Aquarius. For these Monday motivational messages and spirit, what is it that Aquarius needs to focus on for the month of May, spirit? Commitment. All right. And now this commitment could be to anything. Some of you definitely can be finding out that you have conceived and it will be a young, young little boy. Okay. Because I'm seeing that blue string as that. Wow. Wow, OMG, you guys can really be um, making a commitment with somebody that's polar opposite to you. You guys can really be light and you could be connecting with somebody that's quite in their shadow energy, but somehow the connection is balanced because you give them light and they give you that, that shadow energy in order for you guys to balance out each other. So this is basically the yin to the yang, the light to the dark, the polarity, the power of polarity, okay? Wow, that is so crazy. So this is literally like a dove and a crow. So you guys are finding love or commitment with something or someone that is the exact opposite of you. Courage, and you have to have the courage in order to take this on or the person that you're dealing with they have to have the courage to take this on because if they are the actual crow energy then maybe they will be judged for going like stepping into the light or becoming better for themselves because they could be you know, a crow amongst crows. And these other crows are like, no, let's go do crow shit. And, you know, this crow is like, you know, I really feel like I, I know birds of a feather flock together, but I really feel drawn to the light of this dove, the purity of this dove, you know? So this could be somebody that, that will be a very odd match for you, whether this is in business partnership, friendship, or relationship but I feel like for a lot of you it's relationship and it's taking immense courage for both of you to connect and commit to each other or to even co-create with each other because again I can't help but to to recognize either this blue string as you know the bringing of life of, of a male child or it can also be um the weaving of like third eye energy where you guys are kind of connected through the third eye and you connect with this individual that can be a lot different than you on a fifth dimensional level okay and it's going to take a lot of courage to actually manifest this into the physical i do feel like um the person that you could be connecting with could be a leo aquarius or they could have leo highly aspected in their chart um there's an the energy for you to to kind of trust the process even though it may feel and or seem like it's so polar opposite wow yeah wow oh my gosh you guys definitely could be dealing with the leo all right and i'm seeing three cubs here it could possibly be more but i'm seeing two visual cubs and like the rest are kind of faded out so this could be somebody that you're meant to have two or more children with here is what i'm seeing and we i'm getting strength so this could definitely be um a leo for you aquarius 
And I do feel like you guys are transforming each other's lives because you're bringing that element. You know, you guys are bringing the opposite elements into each other's lives to kind of balance each other out. So there is like, there is this potential for you guys to kind of bring in the energies of opposite, like a polarity of duality into each other's lives and actually co-create. And spirit is wanting you guys to have the courage to trust this because both of you could have actually been through a lot of tumultuous energy um, that can kind of hinder the trust or the courage or the bravery to actually, you know, uh, take action on some passion that you could be feeling or be strong enough to actually do so. Um, a few of you need to gain some type of courage when it comes down to your past to kind of close the door and be able to walk out of there because I feel like the past is something that you've been entangled in for a long time, kind of trying to figure out your culpability as well as what is it that I want to attract moving forward versus what it is that I've attracted back then, you know? Let's get some additional messages for Aquarius as it pertains to this spread. So you guys could be focused on commit commitment. You could be committing to understanding something or someone that is polar opposite to you. Let's get some additional messages for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node as it pertains to this spread. So we get an inward revolution. So that's another commitment. And you guys could be balancing out the light and dark within yourselves. So if this is not something, a journey that you're actually going on with the outside individual, then it's definitely a journey that you guys can be facing within. But this inward revolution definitely could have been taking place before this actual commitment. You could have been on a long journey of that. Some of you guys have been single or like working out your issues from, from the last two to four years. Two, three, four years, okay? I'm I'm also getting a uh, Visica Pisces, Pisces, you know, Visica Pisces, I think that's how you pronounce it, okay? And this is um, you kind of coming into alignment or balancing out that higher self versus third dimensional self. And also that can be indicative like that's what this depiction can be indicative of you know is connecting your higher self to your lower self you know being committed to doing that to weaving that together to being able to utilize both aspects of yourself if not then with this visica pisces i do feel like there's an energy of you know there's connectivity even from lower to higher dimensions because all of us were uh, uh, at our lower self. All of us were at a point where we weren't in touch with our higher self. You know, that was work that had to be put in. So you could even be like compromising and seeing the aspects or the perspective of people that may still be unawakened or in a lower dimension than what you are and kind of connecting to those individuals, even though you may not be on the same wavelength and committing to actually, you know, becoming on the same wavelength here. Okay. Because I am getting that this is a soul love Aquarius. All right, so I am getting soul craft as well. So you guys are needing to go within as it pertains to what it is that you're working on when it comes down to your creative endeavors and what it is that your soul is truly passionate about and truly confident in to actually put out something that you're courageous enough to actually do. Because when we're not confident, then sometimes that comes off as a lack of bravery. Even if you're a brave person, it's like if you're second guessing something about your journey that it may kind of come off as something that is like you're not sure you're not sure of yourself you're not confident Like literally the whole deck fell in my lap. Oh. Alrighty, so I guess that's enough shuffles. 
All right, so let's see why commitment is here for Aquarius. Wow, <laughs> the Ace of Cups. And I feel like, oh, wow. Okay, so somebody could have been juggling because this fell right out of my hand. Y'all saw it for yourself. But somebody could have been going back and forth about committing to you, Aquarius. They're coming forth with this commitment, love pouring over. This person wasn't brave at first. And as well as they had to um, adopt the courage to actually get themselves out of uh, a perpetual cycle like this could have been a karmic cycle that they've been stuck in they're no longer worried about that they got the strength to prevail um for some of you you guys could be welcoming twins for others of you um period this person just feels like you guys are destined and they could be dreaming about having children with you or vice versa but i do feel like um initially when this person met you, the, the right time wasn't the right time. Spirit is saying, be confident that this is going to come together despite any hesitation or despite any um, delays. Okay? Because I do feel like this person could have done foolish things. They could have kept you waiting. Death in reverse here. I feel like the transformation or the lack of transformation was due to a lot of finger pointing instead of two people kind of going within like, okay, what is it that I'm implementing that's holding up certain situations that I want to manifest for myself? Instead of two people kind of facing that, I feel like um, the two of you were kind of pointing the finger at each other. You know, but I do feel like somebody is moving forward here. I feel like also you could be getting this commitment at a time that you least expect it, Aquarius, because you could be thinking about traveling. You could have thought about giving up. You could have been like basically on this journey of feeling like a reconciliation wasn't going to happen and you're going to start doing things to help yourself. You could, you guys could have even felt like this person choose, chose someone else. At the bottom of the deck, I do feel like this person was juggling at the beginning of your connection. And that's, that could be the very thing, Aquarius, that's making you lack the confidence or was, you know, but maybe this person is doing something to actually prove themselves and this connection out. And um, they're wanting to move forward diligently. They actually have the courage. It was the intensity of this that allowed this person to back down or made this person back down. But now it's like the courage that they're adapting to is allowing them to come full speed ahead to actually pursue what it is that they are passionate about. Okay. All right, guys. So Libra is, oh, wait, hold on. We need to get angel messages as well as affirmations. Okay, so let's get to angel messages for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, so I am getting career transition and I did see that kind of in reverse. So spirit could be wanting you guys to kind of step, take a step back. And um, like kind of realign your third eye chakra because for some of you, it could be blocked. Okay, Aquarius is saying life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. All right. So again, if you're if you're like witnessing like a slowdown or even struggle in something that you're currently doing is because your life path is trying to come in. So maybe what it is that you are currently working on isn't quite the thing that you are meant to do for the rest of your life. But maybe it was like um, a temporary stepping stone. And so you guys could be coming to, into alignment with what it is that you're meant to kind of retire from doing. Okay. Um, Spirit is also saying you're safe. Like, so stop worrying because in a sense, that's kind of like manifesting the worst type of outcome. Whatever you put your energy into the most is what manifests whether that's positive or negative okay archangel mike uh michael is saying i am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and home all right so spirit is not going to allow anybody to approach you that's here to waste your time anybody that's on that energy will be blocked so if there was anybody like that and they're allowed back into your space then that means you know and that could have been that crow energy like maybe that person was really on something dark but now this person is coming forth ready for a commitment spirit is only allowing it because that person has made that revel like revelation within themselves sales first otherwise that would be something that was would be totally uh basically turned down by the universe oh 
All right, let's get an affirmation for Aquarius. Hold on, let me call. Okay, Aquarius, let's get a affirmation for you guys. Okay, I'm going to pick the one that came out by itself. I am a magnet for miracles, okay? And you guys are, and these are very synchronistic colors. They're the same color. And there are different cards and different colors in this deck, so... When things come out together, it's like, yeah, it was definitely meant to be, all right? So it's saying, I am a magnet for miracles. And the back is saying, when I change my consciousness and forgive those I need to forgive, healing miracles occur, okay? So that can be the reason why, you know, healing miracles continue to occur in you guys' life because instead of you guys holding on to grudges for people that may have hurt you or done you wrong or tried to stop you or stunt your growth, you forgive them and you release them with compassion instead of you holding on to them and hurting you. And that crow energy could have been somebody that, you know, at one point before they understood you, maybe they were, but they're committed to understanding you now and they may even want a commitment from you. Okay, I'm getting everything I need comes to me in the right time, space, and sequence. And so I feel like this is significant to your spread Aquarius because because again, there could have been an energy where you wanted this situation before it was actually divinely aligned and spirit actually made you wait for this thing to become in, you know, in perfect alignment and divine timing for all those involved, not just for you. So there was this energy where you needed to let go of the notion of control where it was like, I want it to happen right now because right then wasn't the right time for the individual that you love and you should want them to move in comfort just as well as you. So because you was comfortable with making a move at a time and it's like spirit just basically taught you a pay, uh, um, a lesson of patience like just because it's the right time for you Aquarius doesn't mean it's the right time for all those involved and as a divine feminine if you are a divine feminine then understand that you know um having concern for all those involved is one of the most important things about being a divine feminine okay so we're going to move on to Libra now okay Libra let's get into it all right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. For the month of May 2021, Spirit, can we get some Monday motivational messages for the month of May? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, Spirit. Travel. So travel can definitely be on the horizon for my Libs. I can't ignore that this woman has a baby bump. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be the wind blowing. But it really, really looks like pregnancy. And Libra, I'm not surprised because you guys do represent the Empress. Let's see what else is coming in for Libras in the month of May 2021. Okay, so with this travel here, you guys could be traveling. Um, you guys can definitely be going on a self-discovery journey. Some of you guys can be expecting and you're deciding to go through with the pregnancy. Um, I'm also getting protection. All right, so if you are, then just know that this baby is protected. You are protected while you're pregnant. All right, so some of you guys actually are pregnant. If it's just with ideas, then your ideas are protected by the divine. So if you've been like, oh man, I really hope that this is not a situation where it's 55 other people that's doing the same thing when I thought this was an original idea. Yeah, it could definitely be as it pertains to talent. Take it as it resonates because some of you are going to be pregnant with a very gifted child. This child is definitely going to change your life, bring a lot of light into your life. Others of you are definitely um, taking on some type of career that involves world travel here. And this is going to change your life for the better, bring a lot of growth into your life, bring a lot of freedom into your life. And you guys are being led to travel by your talent here, which is providing you with not only financial freedom, but but just freedom in general, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we we have empowerment. So you could be um, somebody that's the advocate for empowerment, whether that's women's empowerment, people empowerment, you know, um, uh, what did I want to say? You know, just, I don't know, you, you are the part of a cause, 
all right? And your spirit guides are definitely behind you because I'm seeing that clearly underneath. So even with your eyes closed, you're able to make decisions or gain ideas because I do feel like you're getting a lot of your ideas from the spiritual realm. Some of you guys can be having some type of reconciliation. Forgive me, guys. Let me put this on pause real quick while my neighbors get settled into their home because they have to always pull up with loud music. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But honestly, some of you guys could be single and pregnant and you could be... Um, you know, I don't want to say expect it any day, but you could be kind of far along in your pregnancy. And I feel like your talent can be taking you all over the world. You know, like I said, you can be an advocate for any type of empowerment, whether that's women's rights or equal rights or LGBT rights. But I feel like it's taking you all over the world. And so some of you guys can be taking a child traveling with you or you're traveling while you're pregnant. And it's your talent. Whatever you're doing, you're going to be world renowned. Like you're going to be world known for it. Your intuition is leading you there. It could be overseas. You guys could be doing missionary work. Some of you guys may have your child in a different country, okay? But I feel like this is your calling. So it's like whatever it takes. Your child is protected. I feel like your heart is wide open, Libras, okay? Maybe having this child is definitely opening up, you know, um... A loving energy for you because I do feel like you know having this child for some of you that are actually having a child it's it's bringing like a whole nother tone to your energy I am getting soul tree it's in reverse okay So for a lot of you, it's like you're trying to tap into your Akashic records. You're trying to see who your ancestors are, where you came from, what what it is, like which direction you need to be going. I feel like you're setting the tone. You could be a completely different individual than anybody in your family, Libra. Let's get one more. Okay, so we are getting creating space. So I feel like you are going to be creating space for a child. For some of you, your talent is actually music because I am getting soul song. If not, then your vibrational frequency is what is actually um, attracting so much into your life. The ability to travel, the talent, you know, the child that you always wanted for some of you. Um, as well as just the protection, the universal protection, the ancestral protection. I do feel like you guys are getting a lot of downloads from the universe here as it pertains to, you know, starting this new family and your world travel. Like the world is very important here because I'm getting it multiple times. Also fertility. But for some of you, it's absolutely going to be new ideas that you're protecting because we all know that the empress can be pregnant with ideas and not just children, you know? So it could be your talented ideas or your talent ideas that you're protecting. You know, you could be creating space to expand your business here. You could be creating space for a new family here because this could be something that was unexpected for you, Libra. But I feel like you don't intend on allowing it to stop you. It's like you you very well have the ability to protect your child, travel, and still do some type of missionary work. No matter what that is, okay? So let's get travel. Why is travel here? All right. So yes, you guys do have some brand new idea and you're ready to go. You're ready to go right now. Okay, Libras, you guys have a brand new endeavor that you guys are ready to take plans on. Again, that world in your hand, you guys have to travel. Some of you guys actually have to physically travel in order to yield the results that you want from this positive endeavor here. You can have a lot of gossip. You can have a lot of people that are trying to undermine you or, you know, um, tarnish your name or, you know, I don't know, you know, but it's like a lot of individuals, but you're protected from that. Why is protection here? And then also with that Ace of Wands, yes, your ideas, your creativity is protected. 
So for a lot of you, it's not children, but for some of you, it can be. All right, you keeping things secret. That's why it's protected. You keeping things close to your chest. You're coming up as the empress. I'm sorry. You coming up as the high priestess and the queen of wands. So it's like you are keeping your ability to be able to manifest all of these creative endeavors to yourself. Okay. Why is talent here in the month of May? Why is talent here for Libra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not shedding light. I feel like this was a hidden talent for you, but it's definitely something that spirit is bringing to the forefront so you can get yourself out of the energy of being stuck and aimless. Okay. Why is soul tree here? Why is create space here? So for some of you, you don't have a really close relationship with your family right now. And that could be the reason why, that could be one of the reasons why you kind of worried about bringing a new child here. All right. So there could be a need to create space for... There could be need to create space for someone around you that this could be the child's father, but I'm getting the energy of somebody that is like lost. Like this person holds back their emotions. They hold back their thoughts. They don't know what to think. For some of you, this can also be you. It's like create space for this positivity. If this is an old energy that you used to attract, then create space for new energies. All right, let's get to angel messages. Y'all have children. Some of you guys are definitely pregnant. Libra, you guys could be pregnant with an indigo child or a crystal child. This is our Archangel Metatron saying you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So you guys could be hypersensitive to energy. And for some of you, like I said, you're having a gifted child because I can kind of see, you know, basically all the light around her belly. You know, it's really light around her heart space. So I do feel like for some of you, if you had a heart, a blocked heart chakra center, then, you know, this child that's within you could definitely be transforming that. It could be turning you into a more loving, compassionate individual that is more worried or has more focus on family and home and domestic energy than just career, okay? So you guys could definitely be having a hard time making peace with the father. Okay, I'm getting Archangel Camille. It says peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So anything that happened between you guys, it's not real. I'm getting that same element of a dove. There's, need, there's a need to purify the energy between you and the person that you have chose to actually co-create with or procreate with. Okay, so we're going to get Gemini. Oh, actually, let's pull an affirmation for Libra. Okay, it's saying all of my relationships are enveloped in a circle of love. So, yeah, you and this King of Swords in reverse, y'all need to kind of compromise. I was getting the energy of an actual um, reconciliation. So, if this person got you pregnant and they kind of dashed, they could have got scared, they're going to come back. I have a wonderful, harmo I have wonderful, harmonious relationships with everyone. 
where there is mutual respect and caring on both sides. So that could be what you guys struggle with is the actual balance. And you guys, you rule balance. So pull back your energy until this person matches yours. Until then, you know what I'm saying? Like... You can't really expect to manifest the greatest outcome out of a situation if you kind of accept something that's one-sided, all right? All right, we're going to move on to Gemini now. Okay, Gemini, I'm back. All right, Gemini. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. This is for this Monday motivational message for the month of May 2021, Spirit. What's coming in that Gemini needs to be focused on for the month of May? For their soul's growth and evolution. Okay, Gemini. Are y'all focused on anything for the month of May? All right, spirit, let's get the energy of Gemini. Good luck. All right, so you guys are going to be focused on your good luck and fortune, growth and evolution, trying to attract that, maybe putting out positive so that you can get that back. You guys are definitely focusing on your protection because I see black cats as protection here. All right, protection against envious people because I'm noticing that the eyes of this cat is very green. So you guys can have a lot of people that are actually envious of you you guys could be spending a lot more time in um nature i definitely feel like you guys um this could be like you guys bringing more plant life into your home maybe being uh the parents of more plants being a plant mom plant dad spending more time in nature um basking in the sun more uh a lot of you guys could be focusing on your like your hair health which i know that that's like random but for a lot of people that are intuitive they do focus on the growth of locks or natural hair because essentially our hair is our antennas okay um and for others of you you guys are focusing on actually covering your crown so that you can protect yourself against envious individuals around you a lot of you guys are stepping into ocean energy I don't know why, but I feel like I want to check the spiritual meaning of acorns. Hold on. Okay, Gemini. So for acorns, I'm definitely getting that acorn signal, a time of achievement. We have reached in a point in our life where we can now appreciate the beauty and abundance that we have been nurturing. Okay, so you guys have been putting in a lot of work when it comes down to your abundance. Um... And again, there's this energy of protecting that because there could be a lot of people that are actually envious of you in the month of May because of that. So you guys are putting up boundaries is what I'm seeing here. I'm not going to take this one because I just accidentally picked up the deck. And that was just there facing me. Like, so I felt the need to say that. Like, you know what? You guys are putting up boundaries because people that are jealous don't have to come in the form of thieves. They can come in the form of supporters that are just coming to ride, ride your coattail or be around because you are achieving what it is that you're wanting to. You guys are needing to focus on your well being. That means more meditation, more rest. Um, more spiritual baths, more time in nature, more uh, moon gazing, stargazing, sun gazing, just allowing yourself to actually bask in um, the actual uh, elements of nature is what I'm getting. Sorry for the tongue tie. But I'm getting this very ethereal energy from you guys here where it's like you guys can really be beautiful and your psychic abilities can be heightening. Your third eye can be just popping straight open, um, which I feel like these gifts are actually leading you to the prosperity and abundance that you are gaining right now and protecting as well. Okay. I am getting that it took a lot of strength and clarity for you to get here. You guys could be receiving clarity when it comes to something. It's also your talent. So you guys do have talent that probably stem from your psychic abilities here. But again, there's a need for you to also focus on your well-being so that those things are not distorted or hindered by um, additional energies, which I'm getting that from the energy of needing to set boundaries. When you have spiritual gifts, there's definitely a need to set boundaries, Gemini. 
Gemini, just because you don't know what type of energies you're dealing with, what type of energies you're a sponge to, and what type of energies that could actually be seeking to block the spiritual gifts for yourself, okay? All right, let's get some additional messages for our Gemini. Let's get some additional messages for Gemini. There is only light. So nothing has gone wrong. Even these jealous people, it's like, you know, you've been resilient through so much, Gemini. You can't allow envy to stop you. You can't allow people that can't yield the same prosperity for themselves that you can against you. These people... They know not what they do. And it's like by you being somebody that's connected to the spiritual realm through psychic abilities, it's like you can just about tell that people around you don't quite know what they're doing. You know, I'm getting healing. So you guys are healing those very issues within you, you know, because maybe for a really long time, you've been wondering why you drawing so much um, envy or um, a need to always protect yourself or a need to always restore your well-being because people don't have the best intentions. A need to always reactivate spiritual gifts that have been blocked by those that don't have them. And so they abuse um, the manipulation of energies in order to either gain your gifts or to block yours since they don't have them, okay? But Spirit is saying that this is just testing your resilience. This is testing your abilities to overcome. This is testing your patience. This is testing your talent here, all right? But you are ultimately protected is what I'm seeing. All right, what do I want to use? What do I want to use this one that's been charging for a while? All right, so why is good luck here for, sorry, that didn't even connect. All right, so why is good luck here? Why is good luck here for Gemini? So, yep, it is your good luck that's making people unhappy. We get the nine of cups in reverse. So, people are not emotionally um, content with the fact that you're making it. They're trying to compete with you instead. And they could be throwing negative energies your way because I'm seeing all type of dragons and darker energies that you could be having to fight up against in the five dimension as well as third dimensionally. Maybe you have to protect your home here. That's kind of what I'm getting. Why is psychic abilities here? Yeah, ten of swords, man. People are just trying to end this for you. They are extremely jealous with the ten of swords. Also, it could be a truth speaking that is making other people feel betrayed, exposed, and anything else. Like, you know, so they're trying to get you back. And it's like, you may not even know why people want to get you back. It's like, you know, I don't know. But whatever the case is, it's like if you exposing truth in people's lives and essentially it's kind of like throwing off their facade, then they could be pretty angry about that. But shit, I got a saying for them people, like, don't watch, you know, so you could be actually a public figure. Like maybe you a psychic that shares your gifts with the world. I feel like, you know, even if uh, you had to face some loss or some stand setbacks as it pertains to... Um, competition that you are gaining the victory because spirit is giving you an idea that can't be taken away from you and you guys are going to capitalize on that and you're going to blossom and things are going to transform all right i am getting it could be actually siblings or friends that you grew up with that could be jealous that will not patronize your business these people need healing they may try to come back around after a period of, of things really, truly changing in your life. And I feel like you're going to be defensive towards these individuals. Okay. All right. So that's what you have to protect. You have to protect yourself against people that you actually know that aren't quite happy for you. You know, let's get some angel messages for Gemini. Get some angel messages for Gemini. Let 
we get in patience. Yeah, so it, I feel like patience has grown. Patience has paid off. You getting a lot of green energy, so I know you guys are coming into prosperity. But you guys have been diligently watering your own garden, keep like minding your business, just being peaceful. And I feel like that's why patience is here because patience is paying off for you. It's saying, Archangel Joseph, Phil, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience, and so that could be what's needed or what spirit is trying to indicate to you is like continue to water, allow the sun to to shine, don't stunt the growth of something that has the potential to be beautiful due to a lack of patience okay teaching and learning so that could be something that you're doing here all right maybe you are teaching things about psychic abilities you're also still learning quite a bit i'm getting archangel zat kiel is saying um keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others and so you guys could be doing quite a bit of extensive research and just essentially lighting the way for humanity and teaching humanity what it is that you know i do feel like people are constantly trying to block your gifts from God, but that can't happen. This came in reverse, but I don't feel like these cards are meant to be used in reverse. I do feel like whatever, um, I got this saying from somebody that means a whole lot to me and they say, who God bless, no man can curse. Okay. So I feel like that's that the same thing goes for you, Gemini, in this situation. Gifts that are given to you from God cannot be taken away by man. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope you guys love these messages. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.